don't forget to hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe. Turn on that notification bell so you know when videos drop. Thanks for watching. Peacock Roundup, that's a term that I associate with cattle, bison, horses of the old Western days. Today in 2021, I'm sure they're doing roundups in the Western part of the USA. But in California, they're rounding up a different kind of an animal and it's a peacock. The peacocks are causing problems among the residents of the Palos Verdes Peninsula. And now they want to capture as many birds as possible and rehome them. These birds were introduced to the peninsula in 19. 24 by Frank Vanderlip. He had six birds given to him by a friend of his in India, and two years later they multiplied to about 24 birds. He soon let them roam on the peninsula, and the rest is history. And now, as the peninsula grew, they are now having peafowl where they live and where they built their new home. The sounds that peafowl make are very annoying to a lot of people. My theory is, is the frequency of the sound really triggers some sort of an anger position of a person, and that makes them very angry about the bird. Crickets bother me. They don't bother Mrs. Peacock. Peacocks bother some people with their sounds, but other people, they don't. That's not the only problem. Sometimes they are causing problems within traffic of the city, causing maybe attacking of cars. We've never seen that happen, but we've seen videos of it. They also like to eat flowers and plants around people's places. Now the city of Rancho Palos Verdes has decided to go ahead and have a new capturing program in 2021 as they had a moratorium last year. Now the problem of this new ordinance that they have, you cannot feed peafowl, is going to be a major problem for them. Many people feed their dogs and cats outside their house and the peafowl find that food and eat it. Also, a lot of people feed their wild birds by their trees and the birds eat the bird seeds that are on the ground. And a lot of people have compost piles and the birds go in looking for worms and eating the insects that reside in that compost pile. Also, they like to eat certain flowers that are growing on people's property. So you can ban humans from feeding the peacocks and peahens, but you can't ban them from eating the natural things that are around the neighborhood. So here's the solution. You got two. You either capture them all out of existence or you learn to live with them. Capturing them all out of existence is nearly impossible. And therefore, you're gonna have to learn to live with them and learn their behaviors that they have. Follow a peacock for about a week, you'll see that he will go to a certain spot every day and every night. Of course, if something disturbs him and frightens him off that area, he'll be gone for a while, but in many cases he comes back. So the solution for the Palace Bears Peninsula is simple. People need to learn how to deal with the birds, and if they do capture them, we're hoping that they are rehomed to a nice, safe environment far from people who do not like them. So there you have it. The dilemma of the wild peafowl that I've known since 1992 and working with the cities of Rolling Hills Estates and other individuals on the peninsula, it's never going away until every single peacock's gone and that's never going to happen. Thanks for viewing. Order the Wacky World of Peafowl books at peafowl.com.